Corbin. Yes. Did you hear the one about the overly sensitive thief who was accused of stealing backyard equipment? No. He took offense. Offense is not equipment. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. Your mom's equipment. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much for on Patreon. Follow the stupid account, the like button. I have stupid babies sending me dad jokes now. That that was an original. I wrote that one. Thank you very much. Thank you. But I have I have stupid babies it's sending. It's not equipment. So sending me dumb joke. Dad joke. Today a new dad jokes are dumb. A dummy. A teaser dropped yesterday of, of a new Hindi film, I believe, with Randeep Huda. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We've seen him many times. A great actor. Yes. Uh, it's called. Uh. Swatantra Vir Savarkar. If it's mispronounced, forgive me. Uh, Randi Puda and uh, Anand Pandit. And it's the low logline is India's most influential revolutionary, a man most feared by the British. All right. He must have had a toothbrush. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, that's quite the statement. The most influential revolutionary. I bet those are fighting words to some people. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Azadi ki ladai 90 saal chali. Is that a J Dev gun? Par ye ladai sirf kuch hi logon ne ladi thi. Wow, nice shot. Really skinny. Baaki sab to satta ke bhooke the. Gandhi ji pure nahi the. लेकिन अगर वो अपनी अहिंसावादी सोच पर अड़े नहीं रहते तो भारत 35 साल पहले ही आजाद हो जाता डैम ओह डिड ही एक्चुअली गेट दैट स्किनी मूल्यवान तो सोने की लंका भी थी लेकिन अगर बात किसी की स्वतंत्रता की हो तो रावण का राज हो या ब्रिटिश राज दहन तो होके रहेगा Did he direct it? Did he direct it and star in it? Looks like it. Wow. What do you think? I'm intrigued anytime it's a true story. Uh, particularly about someone that I, I'm not familiar with. Yeah, I'm immediately the the, the the desire to see it is elevated. Yeah, um, and then go coming with that always is the caution of will it will they get it right? Will they tell the, will they tell a true story or will it be told in a way that either is changed just for dramatic value or changed for other reasons? And there's no way to tell until you see the film. Hey, Mark! The great white goat, Mark Bennington, is awesome. part of this. So, if you, if Mark, if you posted that, so many times he posts stuff on his story. Yeah, and I want to look closer, but I don't because I know if I do, I might spoil something we look at. Um, so, so uh, if you don't know who he is, he's the best white actor in yeah. Indian cinema right now. Yeah, um, I'm aware there's this guy named and a future dosed, even though he's already a dosed because yeah. we we talk on a regular basis yeah. on Instagram. A life journey of an Indian freedom fighter and reform uh, ref and reformer Vinayak Domodar Savarkar, popularly known as Veer Savarkar. So it looks like Randeep wrote this. Uh, Passion didn't, project. Uh, didn't uh, he wasn't the director of Slumdog, probably. Just on the team. Do you know cuz Slumdog was an American a British or he, British or American. I know, but I didn't know maybe he uh um is does is he also um uh, does he also have producing credit on this? Who? Randeep? Mm hmm Nope. Okay. So, um, but uh, he's written a, and starring. He's like he's a well known actor. He's a, well known as being a thespian actor. Mm -hmm. You saw it here. Oh yeah. Uh, but I don't know if he's at the level of like where he can produce because obviously he's he does more smaller, right? Rough. That's uh, a little more. Uh, I only asked that because it said, it, you know, the 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 end credit made it appear as if it was. A producing and directing credit. Maybe he's written a lot as well. Um, 
I don't know. We've not we've seen him in stuff, uh, just not a ton of stuff. Yeah, we, we haven't explored him totally. I'm, I'm super interested. I don't know. Maybe did, you guys let me know. Did he actually lose all that weight? Because some actors do that. Not all actors do that. Well, yeah, and you don't have to these days. No, it's not. It, it's not healthy to do it. Yeah. but it's commendable but if, that's if your you process do it. and that's yeah. what you want to do. It's highly commendable. Yeah, you don't need to do it. Um, but yeah, it's it definitely. In my mind, would definitely help you get there, but also it, does. it would be extremely difficult yeah, to I, have a life outside of just preparing. No, I think we are probably the same in this regard with process is that if given the opportunity and guided by yeah. medical professionals, yeah, yeah, we yeah, would yeah. prefer yeah. to embody the character as most realistically as possible. But uh, you can't always do it. No, and sometimes mm. you have re you have constraints where if you're a working actor who's doing project after project, sometimes it's not going to be possible unless you have full dedication. You, you, you can't commit to something. And then when you wrap within two weeks, you're starting a new project that you need to look normal for. Yep. So that's where and computer just, technology just and ask uh, Christian Bale. Oh, my stars. <laughs> he's uh, he's done it many times famously. But he's also like, yeah, I probably wouldn't do that again. <laughs> yeah, as has De Niro. Yeah, yeah, because it's not. It's a. It takes a to toll go from on your fat body. To skinny to fat to skinny is not not healthy, healthy. at all. It's terrifying to see him in uh, Fighter, right? Oh my stars! Is it the Fighter. Yes, he looks like he's going to die yes, in that does. film. It, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, you're watching him thinking. Were people on set scared for him? And I, I said, if he did that, he because that's he was that skinny right yeah. there. Yeah, uh, there, there was some of that a little bit with Joaquin in Joker oh, yeah. too. Absolutely, he got skinny enough. You're thinking, damn man, I'm definitely interested. Yeah, for sure, uh, for sure. Especially since he's a, a really good actor. Did did we see Mark in this? Is that him? Is that Hitler? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't no. it's hard to tell. I I it, didn't see. It kind of looks Mark. like a German. Outfit though, doesn't it? It does. I'm at, I'm at uh, it, but it's it's seconds. it's clearly going to be a, a British Brit, yeah. person. It just, the high boot. It that, does the high. That looks German. The high boot. It does kind of look Hitlery. Um, that's interesting. Uh, was Mark in here? Did you see him? I did not. Now he could have flashed by and we wouldn't have noticed it, but I did <laughs> not see him. And granted, don't know what size his role is. I don't know if it's small like in RRR or if it's supporting. So. Yeah, I'm assuming he'd be a Brit, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it's probably his normal... Wow, he's got a receding hairline there. Then he's a politician, I guess, at some other. Mm -hmm. It looks almost like he's like a a politician. It's, he clearly has some... Because uh, he talked about Gandhi in the beginning. Yeah, and it's the, it's one, it's a revolutionary um, in America. Gandhi the was... One we've, the one we're taught... I don't know if they're still doing it, but when we were taught about it, most people only think of Gandhi. They don't know about the other important people that are responsible for India's freedom. It was quite a powerful line. Gandhi wasn't wrong, but if he hadn't stood firm on his nonviolent ideology, yes, it, India would have been free 35 years ago. <laughs> That's a powerful line there. That is a powerful yeah, line. Yeah, there, there were many who did not believe in the nonviolent trend. America definitely doesn't believe in that. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Even in the civil rights movement, the different there were differences between Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, yeah, um, that are very comparable in terms of those who had a particular nonviolent stance and those who said no, uh, you you have to Martin fight Luther back. Martin Luther King knew that if he was violent, their entire thing would have been shot, shot. Yeah, basically. Yeah, which is un unfortunate because. And I th and at that point he had Gandhi's playbook. Yeah. Of it working to to go by but i have heard not just of him but of others who <clears throat> did not particularly like and actually did uh contribute to independence in violent terms not non-violent terms oh so, yeah i'm i'm, I'm intrigued like yeah I said at the let outset. us know if you guys are interested obviously uh if we need to know more about this gentleman as well uh who we don't know or maybe we have seen him in depicted in a film so you could refresh our memory of right. who this we're exact we're person is, and forgetting it. Uh, or if he's just never been told before, and this is like one of his first tellings. Yeah, uh, that's happened a lot before. Like um, people... something tells me, we were probably exposed to it and didn't realize it in Rang de Basanti. No, those people's story has been told a couple times. I feel because like. I feel like I, this I, was, I feel like this was way before Rang de Basanti. No, it is. I just think that maybe this inspired this person yeah. was 
alluded to or mentioned. Maybe. Not a key element, but just maybe we were exposed to it and didn't realize it. Was he at the end of know. Was he at the end of RRR when they had all the uh, the great Indian? Oh yeah. Good question. He, he might have been. Good question. They put like all the, the yeah. revolutionary freedom fighters. Yep. All those people in there. I'm inter- Did it say it's theatrical or did it say it's. Uh... I, I don't remember seeing what it said. It says produced by Rondi Puda Films. So, But he wasn't on IMDb. He wasn't listed. No. Yeah. So maybe he is produced and IMDb just hasn't credited him with that. Because the credits looked like he's producing. And right there it says Rondi Puda Films. He's yeah. clearly got. In cinemas, two thousand. It doesn't in give cinemas, it a release date, but it's it's in cinemas this year. Directed by Randy Puda. What? The video I'm, says it's directed by him, but they, he doesn't get that credit on IMDb. We are aware IMDb and is. IMDb is probably wrong. Yeah, if if it says it in the thing, it's Randy Puda directed it. It's okay. probably written, directed, and produced by Randy Puda because he's listed as producer what as well. F- so f- we're going to default to that he is full-blown writing directing producing until proven otherwise <laughs> fucking indb man i know so stupid anyways that's that's cool it's, so it's clearly a passion project for this man yep um I, i'm quite interested yep <clears throat> looking forward to uh seeing it and and knowing more um so you guys let us know what you think and anything else we need to know down below